Hi there! Today we're going to look at 10 animation mistakes you probably missed while watching your favorite movies. If you didn't notice them before, don't feel bad. That's what we're here for. Let's take a look. The Lion King Disney's The Lion King is the story about a young prince in line to inherit the throne where he will rule as king of the Pride Lands. The sun will set on my time here and will rise with you. As the new king. Simba asks about the shadowy place in the distance. Mufasa tells him he must never go there. But being the curious lion cub that he is, Simba and his pal, Nala, venture into the dark and mysterious elephant graveyard against his father's wishes. And that's when he gets into some serious trouble with a pack of hyenas. They chase the cubs through the boneyard, and Simba claws one of them in the face, leaving some pretty bad scratch marks. But later, the hyenas corner Simba and Nala, and there are no claw marks. There isn't even a hint of a mark. We found another mistake in a different part of the movie where Timon dresses up to do the hula. He wears a colorful lei, puts a big flower on his head, and dances to distract the hyenas so Simba can sneak back into the Pride Lands. But when his back is turned, he's not wearing a lei or a flower. It magically appears when he turns around. Aladdin Aladdin is a tale about a stubborn princess who challenges the archaic ways of the patriarchy. Princess Jasmine is not interested in being married off and won't stand for arrogant princes in her palace. So what does her dad do? He gives her a pet tiger, of course. Makes total sense. There's a scene at the beginning where a suitor comes to visit Princess Jasmine. We see the prince stomping out of the palace as her father, the sultan, asks, You're not leaving so soon. It appears that Raja has ripped a tiger bite-sized hole in his pants, revealing some very funny underwear with hearts printed all over them. The movie then cuts to Raja, who is holding a torn piece of those very same heart-designed underwear in his mouth. But if Raja had really ripped Prince Ahmed's underpants, our view of his backside would have been much different when he stormed out of the palace. Raja would have only had the prince's purple pants in his mouth, but for comedy's sake, they used the heart undies instead. The new will die. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Tangled. Tangled is the story of Rapunzel, but with a twist. In the Disney movie, Rapunzel has magical healing hair. It lights up when she sings and can make those who touch it young again. An evil woman who disguised herself as Rapunzel's mother uses her hair to keep herself young. She locks Rapunzel in a tower so she can have access to her own personal fountain of youth whenever she wants. But Rapunzel escapes with a thief named Flynn Rider. She eventually learns to love adventure, and Rapunzel and Flynn fall in love during their journey together. It's such a touching moment when Rapunzel tries to save Flynn, and he liberates her by cutting off her hair. The scene is so touching we almost didn't notice the major animation mistake. When Flynn is lying on the floor wounded and Rapunzel runs to his side, Flynn is clearly shackled with little chance of escape from the tower. But during the close-up, when he caresses her hair, his wrist is suddenly unshackled. But when they cut to the wider shot of the two characters, Flynn's wrist is back in shackles. Even Disney makes mistakes sometimes, and despite this animation mishap, it's still a great movie. Shrek we all love the animated fantasy adventure comedy about the reclusive ogre named Shrek and his annoying talking donkey friend. Donkey and Shrek team up to rescue a princess from a flirtatious fire-breathing dragon. Problem is, the princess has a deep, dark secret. The movie teaches us that ogres are like onions. You know, because of their layers and because they're both stinky, of course. After they rescue Princess Fiona, they are attacked by Robin Hood and his merry men in the forest. They battle after an impressive dance number and Fiona shows off her ninja warrior skills. But if you watch the scene closely, you'll see an animation mistake towards the end. Shrek and Donkey are amazed by Fiona, and when Shrek drops Donkey and follows Fiona, his backside is completely free of any arrows. Cut to a couple of seconds later, when Fiona points out, There's an arrow in your butt! What? How did that get there? It's possible that the animators missed this when creating this scene, however it's more likely that they made the creative choice to hide the arrow from the audience until the perfect moment for comedic effect. Zootopia Zootopia is a comedic animated Disney film about two unlikely partners, who also happen to be animals, not to mention predator and prey. The film points to racism and discrimination by creating a society where predator and prey live peacefully together in a big city. We learn that Bunny 
bunnies don't like to be called cute and that foxes aren't always what they seem. In this scene, Emmett Otterton's wife is pleading with Officer Judy Hopps to find her missing husband, Emmett. She is holding up a picture of Emmett with his family to show Chief Bogo. There's a cutaway to Judy looking back at Mrs. Otterton with concern. When we cut back, we see a close-up of the Otterton family photo, but something else besides Emmett Otterton has gone missing. Look closely. There is no purse hanging from Mrs. Otterton's arm in the close-up. Then, after another shot of Judy, there's a wide shot of Mrs. Otterton, and her purse is back on her arm. Either the police team is able to solve the case of the missing purse in record time, or they just forgot to include the purse in the close-up. Frozen Frozen is a tale of two sisters who rescue one another with the power of love. And ice. A whole lot of ice. When Anna and Kristoff and Olaf venture to Elsa's ice palace to ask Elsa to reverse the internal winter in Arendelle, things take an unexpected turn. Elsa accidentally freezes Anna's heart. Then Elsa creates a giant snow monster with the adorable name Marshmallow. However, it turns out he's not as adorable as his name. He throws Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf out of the palace, and they slide down the ice staircase. That's when we notice an animation mistake. In the previous scenes, Anna is wearing a hat, but while she is sliding down the stairs, her hat is gone. After she and Kristoff land in a pile of snow at the bottom of the stairs, Anna's hat is back on her head again. So was it just just too time consuming and tricky to add the hat to the seam? Or did they forget? It's such a fast moving sequence, it's possible they hoped the audience wouldn't catch it. Sit down, Bob. The Incredibles In the original Incredibles movie, poor Bob is a superhero with incredible strength who is forced to work a boring desk job at an insurance company. Due to the government superhero relocation program, all supers had to turn in their capes and act like ordinary people to prevent lawsuits. So Bob is a giant man who sits behind a tiny desk and tries to help little old ladies with insurance claims. And Bob works for a tiny, greedy, mean little man. Bob gets in trouble with his boss for helping the old lady and is called into his office. During the scene, Bob sees a woman being mugged outside of the office window. Stop right now or you're fired! So Bob shuts the door, releasing his grasp on the mangled door handle that buckled from his rage grip. But before Bob commits aggravated assault, there's an animation mistake that we picked up on. When Bob is sitting at his boss's desk, the office door is closed behind him. But later when Bob gets up to save the lady in the street from the mugger, we never see the door being opened. But Bob has the doorknob from the open door in his hand. Finding Nemo The movie Finding Nemo changed the way kids viewed fish in fish tanks. We learned that fish really don't like it when kids bang on the glass, all drains lead to the ocean, and that anything is possible. Animation mistakes are even possible in this film. In fact, we found two continuity errors that are worth mentioning. Both of them take place in the dentist's office. The first mistake occurs when the dentist is preparing to give Nemo to his niece Darla. She is the brace-faced kid who bangs on the glass the fish tank and wouldn't stop shaking the bag of her last fish. You can imagine the horror of Nemo and his fish tank pals at the idea of Nemo becoming Darla's next victim. The dentist scoops Nemo up in a plastic bag and sets him on the counter. But if you look closely, the bag changes from a Ziploc bag to a normal bag and he ties it at the top. And there's more. During the scene when the pelican Nigel swims into the dentist's office, there's another oops moment. Look at the wall in the back. There's no picture on the wall when Nigel is in the office, but when he flies out of the window, there's an alligator poster. Wreck-It Ralph Wreck-It Ralph is the story about the triumph of friendship. It follows Ralph, a bad guy in a video game who wants to get a medal so he can be a hero. But Ralph accidentally crashes a space pod into the game Sugar Rush, releasing an alien bug and compromising the safety of the entire arcade. Ralph meets Penelope Von Schweetz, a character in the Sugar Rush game who has a bit of a glitch problem. Together they can take the game back from the evil King Candy who stole the crown from the rightful princess. Vanellope herself. King Candy is actually Turbo from a malfunctioning game that had its plug pulled. He hijacked Sugar Rush and caused a lot of trouble in that game, but when they defeated King Candy slash Turbo, everything in Sugar Rush seemed to be back to normal. Princess Vanellope was back in her princess dress, complete with a licorice crack.
Crown and Candy Scepter. Balance is restored and all is well with no trace of King Candy, right? Well, almost. If you look behind Vanellope and Ralph, you'll see King Candy's initials on the front of the candy stands. That probably should have changed to PV for Princess Vanellope. Motunui is paradise. Who would want to go anywhere else? Moana. Moana is a heartwarming tale of a village chief's daughter who is drawn to the ocean. She goes on a voyage across the sea to save the people on her small Polynesian island. But before she journeys away to distant lands, meets an arrogant demigod named Maui, and restores the heart of Tafiti, she must make it off the island. This is a task that has proven to be quite challenging as her father forbids her from getting on a boat. In one scene, a frustrated Moana sits tossing sticks into the sand before sharing a heartfelt moment with her mother. Of course, this is a perfect opportunity for her to break into song, as all Disney princesses must do. Moana sings about staring at the edge of the water for as long as she can remember. As Moana is singing her powerful ballad, we see the sand behind her is free from those sticks she was throwing earlier. Maybe Hey Hey the chicken ate them. Who knows? Are there any animation mistakes we missed? If so, tell us about them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the Thanks channel to be the first to see our latest videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.